So I just bumped into Franco and he's, uh, he, I was carrying the sack but he's refused to let me carry it, um, which is very kind of him. And bumped into one of our fish farmers who was also collecting waste for his maggots. Um, unfortunately, he was, uh, I was saying to, he, he started doing house flies, <laughs> which, uh, very ingenious to think, oh, let me do maggots. I can't do black soldier flies. I don't want to pay for them, but I do house flies because they're all around. But I had to break the news to him that they're not very nutritious and they won't make much difference. Um, but he's had fun. We're trying to help. Um, I was saying to him, look, I gave him the model again. I said, look, let's sell you black soldier fly at a price you can afford. Then we'll buy your fish once they've grown and sell them. So hopefully he'll take us with that. Where are you, Franco? Where are you, Hi everybody, arrived, well I stayed, stayed there last night so I didn't actually arrive, stayed up there but I'm just um, helping this morning with just turning over the substrate, Shivan was out late last night selling fish, we were disturbed by the rain, as in it rained and then we took a while to fry the fish so by the time she was actually out hawking uh, it was a while, she, she started doing it occasionally because she has people that are interested in fish so she goes out every now and again, but she was a bit later this morning so I thought I'd help out was in late. Um, but you can see I've just turned this bay, I've added some sawdust and some rice bran just to sort of make it a bit drier. It's not too wet. This is the next one I need to do. You can see here already we've got a bit of an issue, so there's a bit of a puddle of water. So I think as I turn that, if I can do that one-handed, yeah you'll see a bit more water. So that's the sort of thing you want to avoid because that's not going to help your maggots um, it's not too bad uh, and it tends to accumulate at this end so I bet they're probably all over here and we've also got in here our hatchlings that are coming in I don't know if there's any in here let me have a look um, well, I think they could be down below because it's warm but I'll leave it for now you can see the substrate underneath and then the cardboard on top with the eggs and then we've got some more this is our cardboard just to keep it keeps it a bit warmer in there and then under here these are our hatchlings you can see now uh, these definitely have hatched because I saw some this morning moving around um, but in here this is nice and warm so it helps with the temperature and actually it's made a big difference so we've now got lots of hatchlings coming up three buckets loads but probably got more than we need and we haven't even done today so it's going well I think the temperature thing is the was the key point and that's really helped increase our production rate. So let me just turn this over. Um, if I'll see if we can see any maggots in here. A few moments later. I've just turned it and you might not be able to pick it up but you hear this sort of, there's this noise you get when you can, you hear them moving basically. Um, but you can see here there are maggots in the, uh, in the substance there are sort of down below. You, know, you can hear the sub it's like the substrate's moving basically. Um, they look, there's some movement down there a bit better. But the reason there's not as many on this is because we've got loads of um, press. Look at that. Oh, uh, this is not press, pre pupa. See them shifting around? Even in that corner, there's loads as well. So these are obviously they're ready to pupate, ready to turn into our generation of flies. Um, there's loads of them here. See, you can see how many we've got. But loads. Some of these are moving. Some of them aren't. Um, but those, are, these go into our poly tunnel for hatching, of course. So this bay is like looks like it's on the stand. I think we're harvesting from this bay currently for our trial. We've got another bay there going as well, and then at the end there's some as well. So we're doing quite well. The main thing is we've got hatchlings now coming along and then we can use these for our farmers. We've got a customer today that's taking some hatchlings, so we'll take some for, for them. It's the uh, malnutrition project that you all know about. And most of what's in here now is actually almost finished. You can see there's still a bit of food left, but uh, most of it's quite black, the soil. It's um, like here, I don't know if you can tell much of a difference on camera, but this is a bit wetter, there's more undigested food. Um, this is starting to turn more into sort of soil, like it's what we call frass. Um, and then eventually we have it in these bays and we, we sell it as because it's a really good fertilizer. But 
Yeah, it's doing well. I can still hear them moving around the, the maggots. We've had very good success with the um, egg laying recently, and you can see why. There's just a lot more flies in here than there has been. Like they're all, like it's uh, early-ish, it's like 10 o'clock. So they're not flying around that much, but even now there's some definite movement of them flying around. Um, and there's a lot of pre-pupa. This is probably a bit too densely packed, to be honest. Um, but there's a lot of pre-pupa here in other containers. So a lot of hatching possibilities. And you know you can see the flies already coming over here, just resting on the on here. They're maybe they're probably attracted to the substrate. And I'm just gonna see, look, there's one here. Ah look, she's laying eggs. That's good. Nice to catch that on camera. Um so yeah, so she should probably put her back and don't want to disturb her, but she's laying eggs currently. Just put it to the side, you can see the can zoom in, what can this camera do? There we go. So that's so she stuck her uh, what's it called? I was gonna say proboscis, but that's not a proboscis, I've forgotten the name. Anyway, she stuck her oh, ovipositor, that's the name of one. She stuck her ovipositor in there uh, into that cardboard hole, and then she'll lay the eggs there. Shot. That looks like a male, I think, to me. It's a bit shorter. The females are a bit, a bit, uh, a bit different. You can see. So yeah, it's exciting. Anyway, so we'll get eggs there. Just checking. Oh, there's a batch of eggs in here already. See there, right in the middle of the camera. About there. Get that. Can you see them? That's one clutch of eggs, as it's called. Let's check them. Check the other side. Can't see anything there. That's that's good. And it's early, you know, it's it's a bit humid in here because it rained last night, and you can see the proton is working well. We got the we've got the um, dry patch here, and then the mesh that's wet. But actually, when it rains heavily, the water comes down. And the plants are doing really well. Look at that one; it's got really tall. Uh, we've got a flower here, which is lovely. Very nice. And they just rest, all the flies are just all over the plants. So yeah, it's good. It's good, that's why we're getting so many hatchlings, the little, um, once the eggs are hatched. And like I said, I think I've said before, that's actually what we're gonna look to sell now because we've just been struggling to get people hatching the eggs consistently. And you know, when, you know if you're trying a new thing and it doesn't work the first time, it can be quite discouraging, so. We're trying to make it as easy as possible for, for farmers. Um, check these other ones. So, it's pretty good. I've um, got a couple of, oh there's loads of eggs in this one. It's probably like one, two, three, four, five clutches. There's one out over here, at least. Six, there's another clutch there. Um, so there's quite a lot. So. We, this is partly why we're doing, we really cracked it, and I think I say like the temperature is the main thing for why the eggs were taking not hatching as well. We've got substrate coming in, Shivan's, um, oh, headrush. Shivan's managed to do it, so she's getting people to collect substrate and then bring it here, and we're paying them, so that's much easier for us, and it gives people an income, so I'm pretty pleased with progress.